All right, we're going to go ahead and get started here. So uh, I'd like to thank you guys all for coming today and everyone who's here um, virtually as well. Thank you very much. So some introductions, which we'll get to in a second. We're going to then talk about USP, the USP portion of the sale, the magazine portion of the sale. Then move on to um, nuts and candy with trophy and any questions and evaluations. So some important facts. Um, the theme is make it count, make it matter, make it work. Um, wearing a nice little make it count shirt too, which you probably can't see through the computer, I apologize. Um, we're partnering with both Kofi Nut Company and QSP for the sale, for different parts of the sale this year. Uh, we will have troop trainings available to you. We'll put together a PowerPoint that you guys can use to give to your troops to do trainings. Um, you're welcome to design your own. You're welcome to use ours verbatim. You're welcome to take ours and tweak it to meet your needs. Um, we're also going to use some of the same technology. We're going to give a troop training. We're going to have about four different troop trainings offered in September. Some of them will be um, online only. Uh, one will be in person, and we'll be doing the same thing of broadcasting and recording it as well. So um, troops who aren't able to make any of those trainings or can't make your service unit product manager troop training will still have some options to catch that. Um, the same Bank of America account as for cookies, and we're, we've... We're trying to get numbers for you guys. If you haven't told us yet how many deposit slips you still have, let us know because we need to get those ordered. Um, and if you, most of you should have your fall sale materials by now. Um, the exception will be any chocolate materials because, of course, it doesn't make sense to ship chocolate to you in 95 degree heat and have it sit on your doorstep for a day or if you're on vacation longer, that won't be very pretty. So uh, we have all your chocolate-based materials at one of, your, one of the service centers. Uh, if you're in person today, we'll make sure you leave with it. If you're not in person, we'll be working out a way to get that to you, probably with your membership manager. But everything else you should have, um, as you may have heard, that the initial boxes you got of uh, magazine packets um, that look like this um, are the wrong ones. They've got, uh, somebody asked me, they, she thought it sounded very mysterious. Ooh, well, what is it that's, you know, that's not for our sale? Um, it's just the address book has two patches on the front that are, we're not offering. So um, there are, you should have gotten information on getting the other ones picked up from your house and uh, you'll have some new ones following. So it wasn't any big secret, it wasn't meant to be all mysterious. So, uh, so those are coming. If you don't have anything, um, yeah, definitely let your, your product sale liaison know that you're missing some key part of like, what we're going to be talking about here today. So. Um, here are the key dates too. We've got um, troop training. Um, they're happening now. Uh, some of you actually uh, are giving troop training starting as early as next week, I know. Um, order taking will be September 25th through October 10th. It's great. It's really easy to remember the last day of training is 10 10 10. So, or last day of order taking is 10 10 10. It's nice and easy. Um, the troop orders, they'll have to do them in TNOS, which is a trophy net order system. We'll have to have those done by um, October 12th. Anything to you guys, the service unit product managers needs to be in by the 14th. Uh, anything you guys are going to do to wrap up and do all your checking, the 15th, there's not a whole lot you guys have to do with service unit product managers. Um, you do have to take all the paper that um, comes with the magazines and the orders and get those into us on the 18th. Um, products and incentives are going to come together. So we're not quite together on the same truck, but they'll be coming kind of the same time frame. So sometime between the week of November 3rd and the 10th, um, we'll be working with you guys to set your delivery date. And um, before that, right around the same time, you'll get your incentives as well. So when troops come pick up the product, they can get their prizes too. So that'll be nice for you guys in that you won't have to do the, okay, give them some stuff and then try and get them again in December or later and know that that's hard by then people are at Christmas and cookies already. So, um, so we're gonna get that out of the way early. Um, girls will be delivering their products to their customers between November 10th and November 28th. Uh, the last day for troops uh, to deposit money is December 2nd, and uh, everything you need to do to wrap up should be by the 6th. Um, also, at your desk, and we'll get you one if you're not here today in person, is your service unit product manager uh, manual. It's pretty small, but it does have all these dates in here too, so you don't have to be like, oh, I forgot what that was. So we've got them for you there too. Um, just like cookies, which again, people are familiar with, uh, there's a lot of troops who might not be familiar with the fall sale, but it, it provides the same skills, the same business ethics, the same goal setting, um, same opportunities, frankly, for troops to earn money as well um, as the cookie sale does too. Um, that's the great thing too, is the rest of the state, three quarters of the state have had a fall sale for years and years and years, and in realignment, they, they, the thought of it going away was, was a, a pretty big concern. So people were like, you can't take away our, this is how we have money in the fall to do things. So um, the troops in the north part, the far north part of the state aren't necessarily used to doing something fall. They're used to maybe doing their own or keeping cookie money over. So 
Um, so the troops who've done it for years really, really, really like having an opportunity to make money in the fall um, pretty easily. You know, if, if everyone sort of sells to average levels in a troop of 10, it's 300 easy dollars. So, um, and we're structuring like a school sale this year too. So it's orders, deliver, done. So, and people are used to school sales, like, okay, I, you know, go around door to door and I found my gift wrap or my candy bars or whatever. So, it's, it's running a lot the same way, too. We're trying to make it easy for people, easy for girls, easy for troop leaders, easy for you guys, too. So, um, but it does, it's a great way to get money for fall and winter activities because technically, cookie money doesn't actually come into troops until the end of February. That's going to be the first time they should be collecting money. So, that's a long time till they actually, you know, they've got to rely on troop dues between, you know, the time they start up and the end of February. And if they're doing service projects, they want some money for fall and for winter to do, you know, some nice holiday-oriented service projects or events that might, they want to, they want to a scheme. They're going to need money before the end of February, possibly. So, um, and it also helps support council programs for girls as well. So we have a, a, a number of programs. Where if you have more questions, I'm more than happy to tell you about all the fantastic programs we have, like the Hispanic Initiative. We serve thousands of girls in the summer um, through our Hispanic Initiative. Um, we've got a Girl Scouts Beyond Bars troops, all kinds of things like that. So both product sales really help provide that for girls, help support the Opportunity Fund that funds membership dues for girls who can't otherwise afford it and things like that. So the proceeds that each troop get, um, of course, girls get incentives and nut credit. And if, if you have your supplies, you'll see on the order card the incentives are on the back. Um, and there is nut credit. And again, just like cookies, they're cumulative. Um, so you'll get, you know, girls get the prize and the cookie credit. And the next level, they get more cookie credit and more prizes. So it's not a habit to choose. Um, for troops, they get a dollar for each um, edible item they sell, uh, the nuts and candy. They get 10% on all of their magazine orders. They get $2 for each address book they fill out. And that's one per girl. Um, what we found last year was where there was multiple, um, they, they tended to be sort of not really well done. So, um, you know, with all the other ways girls are contacting their customers, uh, I think one address book is probably going to get those last 10 people that might not have email that they might not otherwise be asking for. So, and 20% of any nut um, order online. We're going to talk a lot more about um, the online orders for nuts. So. But the online magazine orders is still 10% for any of the orders that are in by the 10, 10, 10. A couple different websites, and again, these are on your service unit product manager manual. Don't feel you have to quickly write these all down. Um, they're going to be in the troop product manual as well that we'll be getting to you. Um, we'll have links from our GSOSW website, but just kind of letting you know um, that the order system is, that you'll see is probably referred to as TNOS, it's Trophy Net Order System, and that's sort of the e-buddy of, of the sale, of the fall sale. Um, for the program parts, you're going to go to nutsforknowledge.com, and then eNuts Plus, which again we're going to be talking about a little bit later, is through that. Um, the program activities for QSP in the magazine is going to be at beareader.com slash activities. And again, we're going to have all this on our website, so you can just go to the website, troops can go, they can click and find what they need. Um, the QSP customer service number, and that's going to be um, later on if there's a problem with an order. Um, there's really nothing I can do or nothing you can do about it. We're just going to have people call QSP customer service and, and they'll help track down where the magazine is. Um, of course, you can always call myself or Verna or um, Claudia.